morning YouTube. So today I'm going to teach you how to body paint. Today I'm going to be walking you through step by step of our of our of our of our of how I create my body paints. So let's get going. My inspiration today is going to be the Broadway version of Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Now, the reason why I chose this character to show you is because, unfortunately, I can't even say it, unfortunately, Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris caught fire this morning here and late afternoon there. Um, I will link some news articles down below if you would like to see that and see the tragedy that is that beautiful cathedral catching fire. I'm going to be creating Broadway's version of Esmeralda's dress today um, to go along with my Instagram Broadway series. So make sure to go follow me on all Instagram socials. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram if you want to see the rest of my Broadway series and let's get it going. Let's get it going. Alright, so we have our shirt on and I'm going to go in with the NYX Total Control Primer and Foundation Drops. This just gives my paint a little bit of a base beforehand and I have found that it makes the paints look better and go on so much smoother whenever they have a coat underneath them of foundation. I'm just going to be taking a fluffy brush to blend this all in before I go in with my eyebrow marker to trace everything out. So you can use any kind of eyebrow marker for this, but this just gives me an overall idea of where I'm going to be putting all the different color paints. And it just helps me out in the long run to sketch everything out and kind of get an idea of what it will look like beforehand. I don't sketch out all of the tiny details, but the overall spacing of things I sketch out. So I'm going to go in with the Mehron Paradise paint in blue and black, as well as this very dirty Mehron Paradise paint palette. Yeah, I know, it's, it's just, it's disgusting. But I'm going to be using that brown and go in to my leather parts of the bodice. So with different things like this where I'm needing to have a straight line, I try to get a paintbrush that is the similar width of the line that I'm wanting to draw. So with this paint brush, I used a small rectangled brush and then for the larger parts of the bodice, I went in with the wider rectangled paintbrush. And that just helps me personally keep a straight line in the lines that need to be straight because I don't have the steadiest of hands. So that's just a little tip to help you out if you don't have steady hands either, is to get yourself a nice straight brush in different widths and different sizes to help you create straight lines. It'd be a lifesaver. All right, and now I'm going to go into the James Charles palette that has all these wonderful colors, and I'm going to be using this, and I'm gonna be using the brown, black, and dark blue colors for this look. Again, with the brushes. The brushes are your key to success. I use brushes that have a dense, thick line at the top, like this gold one, or a skinny tip like the black brush whenever I go into shading, because shading will take up the most time out of anything in your body paint. So the shading will actually help start to bring your paint to life. This is where the bodice and the dresses and anything that you're painting on your chest start to look more 3D. I am taking the light brown to dark brown shadow from the James Charles palette and literally shading every single place that the paint is going up against my skin. So every single line of this bodice is gonna have shading next to it. 
and that just makes it pop out. It makes it stand out from your skin and makes it look like it is sitting on top of your skin. That is where the illusion comes in. All right, and also with the Esmeralda Broadway costume, her bodice from pictures kind of looks like it has a velveteen, velvet kind of a sheen to it. So I'm taking that dark blue shadow from the James Charles palette and giving my blue a little bit of texture and dimension and make it look like it could be velvet. If you're standing far enough away, it might look like a little velvet. But this is just another detail that is good whenever you're doing body painting. Body painting is all about the details. The small little details that people will pick up on and make it look more realistic is the way you need to go. It'll give your overall paint more dimension, more interest. It'll just make it look so much better if you focus on the details. All right, now I'm going to take the black shadow and shadow around where those leather straps, the leather bands are on the bodice before I go in and outline every, everything. You want to make sure you shadow before you go in to outline it. All right, and I'm kind of going all over the place now apparently, but I'm taking the black water activated paint and adding in these little dots that she has on her bodice from the Broadway picture, um, as well as the laces that lace up the middle of the bodice. Now we get to go outline. So outlining is very fun and very scary all at the same time. I'm using the NYX Epic Liner Pencil and lining every single part of the bodice. Whenever you start outlining your paint, you are going to need to outline every single bit. Anything that you have painted on your body paint, you need to outline it. Originally, like, come on Alyssa, Come back in frame, please. Come back in frame, thank you. So if you look at the brown um, leather straps, I wasn't originally going to outline those, but then looking at it, they would have gotten lost in the background if I hadn't outlined to them. So make sure that you outline everything because you don't want any of your work to get lost after you're finished. And the outlining of black, it looks really abrasive at first, but it really, it just starts blending in afterwards. The same for your highlights. So I'm using the NYX white eyeliner and I'm just highlighting anywhere. If you don't have a reference picture that shows you an exact place where highlights should be, go ham. Wherever you think that a, that a highlight's going to come on your body paint, put yourself a highlight there. This will actually make it look more three-dimensional and highlighting is just so much fun. I love highlighting because it just kind of brings little bits and pieces out from the paint and it gives it an overall like a really cool look. Now going on with the Mehron White Paradise paint, I'm going to give myself some sleeves. Painting underneath your underarms is just no fun at all because it never, never wants to come off, but it is a necessary evil. So after you paint that, you're going to shadow and outline your sleeves just like you did your bodice because of course, you want to make sure that your sleeves look like they are sitting on top of your skin. Yes, there is a method to the madness. All right, now that I am finished with that, let me go put on my wig and I will be right back. painting 
tutorial of Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I hope that you truly enjoyed this video. Again, please make sure and go follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more looks, and I will see you guys next week at 10 a.m. Bye!